What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I wanted to give you a couple of my recommendations for the Sephora VIB sale. They do the sale twice a year and um, earlier this year I was actually boycotting the sale pretty actively. I think I made a video on YouTube about it um, because they laid off uh, a bunch of employees when they're a huge company and they definitely could have taken care of their employees better. That being said, um, I, I did shop the sale this year and I picked up some things. But most of all, I wanted to give you guys my recommendations if you were planning on shopping the sale. Um, things that I love and I use every day in my routine, in my professional kit. Um, so I thought it'd be kind of fun to just give you guys a breakdown on what those products are and what I would recommend if you want to save some money with the sale. Let's jump into it. Okay, so I'm just going to start out in order of how I use the products. So I'll start with skincare and then jump into some base makeup products and then go from there. Um, obviously I don't have any hair, so I'm not going to include any hair products in this, but, um, let's jump into skincare first. So the first thing I wanted to show you guys is this pore perfecting and protecting set from Tatcha. I feel like this is such a great deal for the amount of products that you get. This, this is $52, um, US. If you break everything down, it is such a good deal because you get the little uh, lip mask. You get a mini of the water cream, uh, the liquid silk canvas, which I am now obsessed with. Um, as well as a mini of the deep cleanse. So this is just a great way to try some Tatcha products if you haven't yet. Um, typically all these products are around $50 or more each. So this is a great opportunity to kind of just try them out and see how they work for you. Um, yeah, for me, I don't have a lot of Tatcha skincare. So I picked this up to just try some things out. I've completely fallen in love with the liquid silk canvas and I um, actually purchased another full size one of these in the sale so i'm excited to get this big boy i think for me the sale is just a great way to save a little bit of money as sephora doesn't have sales very often um, and a lot of the products are quite spendy or on the pricier side so it's kind of just a good opportunity to save t uh what is it 10 15 or 20 percent depending on what level of um the vib levels you are um yeah so I obviously am not encouraging you guys to pick up all of these products, but these are just some of a few of my favorites. So along the notes of skincare, I could not forget to include this, um, the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% Zinc 1%. This has been the skincare solution that has been saving my skin all month long with all my crazy Halloween looks in October. Um, and I've continued to love and use this. I actually just picked up two more bottles at the sale because they are, I think, normally... $10 for these big two ounce bottles. So I stocked up and I got two of those with the 20% discount. Um, you just save a little bit of money. So highly recommend this. This helps with um, breakouts and oil control. So if you have kind of combination to oily skin like me, you will probably love this. I recommend this to everyone with a similar skin type. Love it, love it, love it. Another skincare favorite that I wanted to mention is this Biosense Squalane Antioxidant Cleansing Oil. This is a newer product to me. I just was sent this in PR, I think in August. So I've been using it since then. Um, and I've been loving this to remove my makeup. You guys know I love my little croon sponges. Um, I use those to remove makeup as well. But if I have something that's stubborn, I'll go in with a little bit of this oil and it dissolves the most stubborn makeup. So pretty much anything on your face that you want to remove, this will get it off. Love, love, love this. And it's also a huge bottle. It's been, um, what, three months since then? Over three months. and. I still have about a third of the bottle left, so highly recommend this um, Biosense cleansing oil. Another skincare favorite that I wanted to include is this beloved Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. This is one of the most effective sleeping masks for hydration that I've found on the market. For me, if I'm feeling dry or, you know, sometimes that um, niacinamide can dry my face out a little bit too much, I'll go in with this on top and just really like lock in all the hydration this is amazing amazing for keeping my skin nice and plump um and it also has ahas in it so it actually exfoliates and smooths the skin a little bit through chemical exfoliation while it's hydrating it's just an amazing product and i've also had this for at least six months and i'm not even close to scratching the surface this is going to last so long something that is totally um, good bang for your buck and I recommend it to everyone and they're also just a lovely lovely brand highly recommend this guy another favorite that I talk about all the time are these Laneige lip sleeping masks this one is in the sh it's, I almost said shade <laughs> this one is in the flavor um, apple lime I believe yeah apple lime and these just smell so 
so so good and they're the only thing that i've found that really like lock in moisture for my lips if i'm wearing a liquid lip combination here like i have liner and a liquid lipstick um at the end of the day they can just feel a little bit stripped of hydration or just needing a little bit more moisture these laneige sleeping masks are amazing i have the berry one i have the grapefruit one lemon and this apple one and i just love the fruity scents and flavors and I keep repurchasing them. Um, I think the sale is probably a great time to just restock on things like this that you love, that you know you're going to continue using. Um, so I definitely picked up a couple more of these. So with COVID and everything, I haven't been wearing this lip combo or any lip combo really uh, throughout the past six months because I'm wearing a mask everywhere that I go. One thing I have been wearing though is this Kosas Wet Lip Oil. This is incredible. It's like a hybrid of a kind of like a lip gloss and a lip balm, obviously in an oil format. So it just is, this is the clear color. This is jellyfish. Um, but this has been one of my favorites, I would say for the past six months. And I just picked up a new one of these. Um, they do send me PR. So I'm very grateful to have all the different shades, but this one is my most used and definitely my most favorite in the shade jellyfish. It's kind of like a light pinky tinge to it, but it basically just goes on clear. So moving on to some makeup and some base products, I wanted to share this Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. This has been definitely a favorite of 2020 for me. I wear the shade 2.5 Neutral and it's a little bit deep on me, but with concealer and everything, it kind of evens out. Um, if I were to get this again, I think I would go half a shade lighter. If you know MAC Face and Body, I would definitely compare this um, in terms of the formula, but I would say that this has more of a true medium coverage. A little bit more coverage, a little bit more wearability. I can wear this under a mask and it doesn't budge with everything else that I use to set. So I really love this foundation. It's definitely comfortable on the face, no cakiness or anything. I just apply it with my little e.l.f. beauty sponge and it works just fine. So I love this so much. I would definitely pick this up if I needed it. I'm, I'm good for now, but that's another good foundation. Another favorite for foundation that I've just recently discovered is this Your Skin But Better Foundation in Skincare. This guy's really interesting because it claims to leave you with better skin in two weeks. Uh, the claims are water light, medium coverage, and natural radiant finish, and I can definitely confirm that all of those things uh, are true, except for the better skin in two weeks. I just got it about a week ago, so I don't know, but um, I really, really have been loving the finish of this, the longevity, the way that it applies. Um, I don't own a lot of IT Cosmetics products, but I feel like this one um, it's just a really beautiful, true skin texture finish. Does that make sense? <laughs> it's not it's not heavy. Uh, it's not too lightweight to where it doesn't add any coverage. But this, for me, covers all veininess, um, all blemishes that I have. It covers everything while leaving my skin just feeling really natural. Um, highly, highly recommend. It's definitely on the pricier side. Both of those foundations are. But if you guys want to save a little bit of money with the sale i highly recommend these two these are my favorites from sephora hands down for concealer there's a couple that i wanted to mention um you guys know this hourglass uh vanish concealer is my holy holy grail i will repurchase this till the end of time um it's just the best concealer on the market in my opinion in terms of coverage and blendability if you want something medium coverage you can tap it on quickly and blend it out fast and you can have an, a beautiful medium coverage if you want to really really conceal and brighten you can let this sit for a couple of minutes and you'll get a true full coverage finish i just love this my shade is the shade silk which is kind of a pinky undertone so for me that happened or it helps to kind of cancel any darkness that i have under the eyes or any uh, undertones from blemishes so Highly, highly recommend this. If you don't have a pro discount at Friends Beauty or Nigel's or Namie's, um, this at Sephora would, this sale at Sephora would be a great time to pick this up with a little discount because these guys are expensive. But in my humble opinion, very much worth it. Another concealer that I've been loving are these from Kosas. These are, I would say, much lighter finishes, like much lighter coverage than the Hourglass ones. But Kosas is just a really interesting brand. They actually are claiming that this is a skincare concealer blend, kind of. So these are really interesting and they are so hydrating underneath the eyes. They are really similar, in my opinion, to the e.l.f. Um, hydrating camo concealers. But they have, I think, a more diverse um, shade range. I don't know. I, I just feel like they work really well. I use the shade 1 
under the eye to really brighten. And then for any blemishes, I tend to use the shade two or three. So this one's a little bit deeper and blends into my actual skin tone better. So I've been loving these. They're super, super flawless and they blend out great with a sponge and a brush. Highly recommend. So when I was thinking of powders for um, the Sephora sale, I don't have a ton of powered powders that I love that are carried at Sephora. A lot of them are pro brands like Face Atelier um, that I swear by and I love their ultra loose powder, but they're not sold at Sephora. So from Sephora, I wanted to share this Milk Makeup Blur and Set powder. I actually just picked this up recently, but I've been absolutely loving it since I picked it up. Um, the top is really interesting. It kind of unscrews and you have a little dish here um, but the nicest thing about this is there's a net to kind of catch the powder so you don't apply too much. Um, it's a little tricky if you're trying to bake. Not a lot comes out at once, but in my opinion and for my use, I don't use, like to use too much powder. I don't really bake on a regular basis. So I've been loving this. This is just kind of a loose matte um, setting powder, but flexible, does not seem to make my skin look dry or anything. looks beautiful all over the face as well as under the eye. So I would highly recommend this if you haven't tried it. Um, check it out. So moving on to complexion, there are a couple products for like blush, bronzer, and highlight that I wanted to mention. These guys are my hero products from Sephora. Fenty Beauty, in my opinion, makes the most gorgeous bronzers on the market. I have um, switched back and forth between Indusun and Shady Biz for a little while now. Shady Biz for me is great for all over my head, a little bit more um, depth in the cheekbone area. Um, and Indusun is a perfect contour color and subtle um, bronzer for me. I love, love, love this bronzer so much. In terms of blush, this has been one of my very favorites on the market. This is from the brand Nude Sticks. Um, you guys know I also love their eyebrow pencil. I talk about it all the time over on Instagram, but um, this is a really interesting product. This is the Magnetic Lip Plush Paint in the shade Hot Paprika, and this is just a gorgeous kind of like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's kind of a terracotta um, color, but these formulas are just incredible. They blend out like such a dream just to this soft kind of subtle pigment on the cheek. And I actually like to go back and forth between a blush and a beauty blender. Sometimes I'll use my fingers. They're just seamless to apply. And I love that they have this little wand for just applying straight to the face. So highly recommend these. Hot Paprika is my favorite color for my skin tone, but they have quite a range too. Another great complexion product that I, I would highly recommend picking up if you're interested in blinding sassy highlights. Um, Becca released this little set. It had a mini opal highlight, which I was very stoked about, mini opal. And then a mini size of these Ignite highlighters. These are liquid highlighters. And this one came in the shade Passion. So it's kind of like a true champagne, um, not really pinky. It's kind of like a peachy champagne highlight but you can just see how gorgeous and reflective that is hopefully you can tell they are just so gorgeous and that combination with the liquid highlight and the mini opal um i think is 24 dollars. so that is an incredible incredible deal and you even get your discount from the sale on top of that off so this is going to last me so long because I need to use such a small amount. I just, I think it's gorgeous and I love to just use a damp beauty sponge. Kind of like, don't judge me, I just use this, but like a damp beauty sponge such as this little elf one to kind of tap into that product and then just dab on the face. So um, like I said, I'm not using a ton of product when it comes to this at all. It'll last me forever. Another kind of unique um, base product, this could be used as highlighter, as kind of an underneath foundation um, primer per se. This is a really unique product. It's called the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. And I have this in the shade two. It is just a gorgeous, gorgeous complexion product that can be used as kind of like a, a glowy product for underneath makeup. You can dab it on top as a highlighter. You can just use it in so many different ways. And I've had this for so long. I will literally never go through this. Um, I probably have to start smelling it and making sure it doesn't turn bad, <laughs> but we're good for now. <laughs> um, anyways, it's just kind of a unique product. If you are looking to expand your makeup range and you want to get into more kind of unique, versatile products, I highly recommend this. It's definitely a little on the pricier side, so now is a great time to pick it up with the sale. I've literally had this so long, the whole thing is rubbing off on top.
Now moving into some eye products. I wanted to share with you guys this eye primer from Smashbox. This is the 24 hour photo finish shadow primer. Um, and this to me is the best eyeshadow primer on the market, in my opinion. Um, for me, when I look at an eyeshadow primer, I want something that is going to set down really seamlessly and feel like nothing on the eye, really lightweight, not cakey, not feeling like concealer, not something that's gonna just like totally cancel out the whole eye and, and look like there's product on there. I want something that looks really natural and soft. And this is that for me. And this has lasted me, oh my gosh, almost a year. I'm just reaching the end date and it's completely, completely empty. There's nothing left in here. So um, I did pick up a new one with the sale. And this, in my opinion, is a really, really good um, value, I think, for what the product does and how long it lasts you. I think these are around $20, maybe $24. So it's a great time to pick it up with the sale, save a little bit of money. But this primer is just amazing and I swear by it. I recommend it to everyone. I use it on my clients, bridal, everything. It lasts all day long. Truly, when it says 24-hour photo finish, it, it, it really is 24-hour wear. So highly, highly recommend. For brow products, there's a couple things I wanted to show you guys. I've talked about both of these products um, across my socials, but I don't know if I've mentioned them on YouTube before. Uh, the first one is Cool Cookie, um, the shade Cool Cookie in Urban Decay's Brow Blade. This is such a unique product. Um, for me, when I draw in my eyebrows, I have alopecia totalis, as you guys probably know. So I don't have any eyebrows to begin with to kind of shape from the start. So I want to draw on something that's going to last and it's going to be waterproof all day long. So this brow pencil from Urban Decay, I'm totally out of it, but um, it's just a really interesting uh, formula in my opinion. This is completely waterproof and this brown, uh, the shade Cool Cookie, is a really neutral kind of soft ashier brown. So for me it's a great base color to lay down and then I can go on top with other products. I typically like to use the Kat Von D or KVD Vegan Beauty Super Brow in Dark Brown on top to kind of add in different dimensions and different um, shades of brown. But the unique thing about this pencil is on the other side you actually have a little pen which gives a waterproof um, finish as well. So you can go in and draw in little hair strokes. You can use this for little faux freckles. It's just a really good multi-purpose product that for me is well worth the 20 some dollars that it is. So another great time to save some money with the sale and pick this guy up. So as far as eyeshadow, there aren't a ton of palettes that really jumped out at me and really inspired me, but there are a couple that I wanted to share with you guys that I'm excited about. Um, this Natasha Denona Metropolis palette has been one of my favorites throughout 2020 and 2019, but anything from Natasha Denona I would recommend getting during this sale because it's typically just so expensive and it's always nice to be able to save a little bit of money whenever you can. So this is the Metropolis palette. This is just such a unique palette to me. The color story jumped out to me immediately. You have these fun yellows, some neutral browns, um, a lot of great warm tones for fall. So I've been wearing this all the time lately and these shimmers are just unmatched. Her formulas are truly incredible. Um, I also like this because it does have a shield. So I feel like, oh, it totally fell out. Right as I'm hyping this up, this shade totally just fell out onto my lap. Maybe I shouldn't recommend it. One thing I picked up myself from the sale, I didn't buy any eyeshadow palettes except for restocking on one of my all-time favorites. This is the On The Run palette from Urban Decay in the shade Detour. So they had a bunch of these kind of curated little mini palettes that they released, um, I don't know, maybe a couple of years ago now. And I remember seeing this in the checkout line at Ulta and I I, I don't buy new sh eyeshadow palettes very often because I have so many and really realistically, like how many eyeshadow palettes do you need? But this one spoke to me immediately and I just knew that I was gonna use these colors all the time. If I ever created a palette or a makeup line, it would look something kind of like this, obviously a little variation, but these colors just speak to me so much. This one is my favorite color maybe to date, it's Switchback. And I use this in so many different looks, but it is just a gorgeous, gorgeous little, I don't know, like ice cream cone shade. <laughs> it's just it's so fun and I use this palette all the time. So these guys are actually on sale at Sephora right now. I think they're on sale for like $12. Um, and then you get your discount from the sale on top of that off. So I, I did pick up a new one of these because I just know it's gonna be a palette I'm gonna use 
literally forever. So I'm really excited to grab another one of these. So because I have alopecia, I don't have any natural eyelashes. So falsies are something that I definitely invest a little bit more money and like thought and time into because I just feel like they're the only thing I can really play with when it comes to eyelashes. So I definitely have fallen in love with these from Huda, Huda Beauty lately. These are the style, I guess not shade, style hoodie number 23 lashes. And these are just so, so stunning. They are really long and kind of fluttery. Here, I'll take them out for you. But they are just so pretty. They're the ones that I'm wearing right now. Um, and I actually bought these at Namie's here in LA, but if you don't have a pro discount and you just shop at Sephora, I highly, highly recommend these. They are just so lightweight. You can see the band is like nothing. So they're so easy to apply. They last forever. I've had these for weeks now and I keep reusing them and they look just like they did when they came out of the package. They're just a really fun, fluttery, natural, but sassy style of eyelash. So highly recommend those. I've been using them like crazy. Um, I think that is it, you guys. I just ran through so many products. Oh wait, I forgot one. This is from Milk Makeup. Uh, before I forget, I had to mention this because this is something I definitely kind of splurged on this year. I actually bought two refills for this. Um, this, in my opinion, is the best setting spray on the market. I had been using this Urban Decay All Nighter for years and years, but um, I I kind of haven't touched it in the last couple of months since discovering this. This is my first full size bottle and the only downside I would say to this is that you fly through it. I feel like I just got this maybe a month and a half ago and I'm already to the end here, but um, I have two backups coming because I love it that much. I believe the price difference is only about $3 if I am not mistaken, this is like 32 or 33 and this is 36. So for $3 more, let's see. This is 3.38 ounces and this is four ounces. So you actually get less product in this one, but I don't even care. The formula is so good. It truly locks in my makeup, but feels like it's hydrating and just juicing up my makeup every time I spray it on. So I'm completely obsessed with this. Uh, in, in my opinion, it's the best setting spray on the market. So it just really grips the makeup and also refreshes and it's alcohol free. So if you're sensitive, this is a really good option. Okay guys, so I think that is all. I covered a ton of products in here. I hope some of that was helpful and I hope you have an idea of some things to pick up. I would definitely say if there's one thing you're gonna grab from this sale, it's this guy. This is my favorite product probably of 2020 if I had to put a list together, which I think I should probably do for a YouTube video. But um, yeah, this Hydro Grip Setting Spray is a hero product for me. I also really love these lashes. So um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions down below and I'll do maybe a summary of this over on Instagram. So go check me out there and on TikTok as well. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little bell if you want to be notified every time I upload videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.